Welcome back. Today we're trying an idea that's been suggested to me about a dozen times. So get ready for this week's Slow Motion Saturday. Lately, you guys have been asking me to try a bunch of different things with these snappers, from soaking them in gasoline to making a giant sized one. But before we get started, let's find out what's actually going on inside of them. Inside of these snappers, there's gravel coated in a high explosive compound, silver fulminate. Remember that scene in Breaking Bad where Walt throws a crystal and it explodes? This is not meth. That was a mercury fulminate. Fulminates are extremely sensitive explosives. Fortunately, one of these snaps only contains 50 micrograms, which is such a small amount, about the size of a grain of sand. Even though these toys contain a very real explosive, their risk is low. You can even snap them in your hands without any danger. So, can one of these set fire to flammable liquids and gases? What about a hundred of them? Now these certainly do flash when you throw them at the ground, but do they contain enough energy to actually start a fire? To do that, we're going to dip a couple of them into gasoline and throw them on the ground. Now no matter what I did, I couldn't get these to spark. They wouldn't even pop when I threw them at the ground. So for our next experiment, I'm going to pour gasoline directly on the floor and throw some snaps on top of them. Well, I missed that time, but even when I get the snaps on top of them, the gasoline still doesn't explode. Something's not working. I think that the explosion is so fast, it doesn't have the time to start a fire. So we're gonna make a giant one and see if that can do it. Well, I opened up six boxes of these snappers, which is around 300 individual snaps. I pulled them apart and pulled them onto a paper towel. I'm gonna make one giant one. Very nervous. Mm. I have no idea how to do this. This is scaring the crap out of me. Well, I eventually got it. I was so sure it was gonna blow up in my face, but now is a moment of truth. Will 300 snaps nice. start a fire? As soon as you press record, you'll record and I'll drop it. All right, record. Oh. I'm sorry guys, but despite my best efforts, I could not get this to start a fire. I did it multiple times. I even put some black powder in there the second time I did it. Still no fire. The problem is that the explosion is just too fast. It happens in one one thousandth of a second. Just not enough time to start a fire. Sometimes experiments don't turn out the way that we expected them to, but that doesn't mean that they're a failure. I know that I learned a lot during this experiment, and I hope that you guys did too. So next week, I'm going to be doing balloons filled with flammable gas. If you'd like me to try anything with these balloons, let me know down in the comments. Besides that, have a great day guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.